Today we're taking a look at a viral TikTok video that purports to share some invaluable cruise cabin safety tips. So are they actually good tips? Would I recommend them to you after, well, after a plethora of cruises that I've been on, I feel like I'm in a unique position to share my thoughts, my opinions on whether or not these are valid, good cruise cabin safety tips. Welcome to the Midships Minutes. It's your Captain Corey. Let's get into this article coming out from cruisehive.com written by Katie Kovelman. Cruise passenger goes viral for cabin safety tips. Y'all, why haven't I gone viral yet? One of these days, the day is coming. Just because you're on a cruise vacation doesn't mean perpetrators take a break from looking for opportunities to strike. Even though modern cruise ships statistically are one of the safest forms of travel, it's still important to remain aware of one's surroundings in case potential threats are lurking nearby. And one TikToker has gone viral for her cruise safety tips, especially for women sailing solo. And look, this is not a video just for women. Y'all can use these safety tips no matter what you got going on. Let's read on on this. There's some truth to the saying that there's safety in numbers. Single travelers, especially females going solo, tend to be more vulnerable targets. Luckily, Victoria from victorias.way on TikTok has dedicated her channel to sharing travel safety tips, especially for these particular travelers. Now, this video is going to show several things. There's some Now this video is going to show several safety tips. There's some really good ones, but there's also some really not great ones. So, let's get into the nitty-gritty here. While on board a newer MSC cruise ship, Victoria filmed this video detailing her process in the evenings that ensure no unwelcome passengers or crew members can enter into her stateroom. She posted the video back on December 9th and it has since gone viral. After turning her attention to the cabin door, she locks it. Victoria also ensures that her cabin is extra secure by using one of these portable locks. You can get these on Amazon. I personally don't use these locks. I don't have any experience with them. However, I've seen them in multiple other personal safety type of videos. These are useful in hotel rooms, cruise cabins, and they're also useful in your home to help make your door a little bit harder to get through. So this, like everything in this video, this is to help make your cabin a little bit more difficult to get into for a potential ne'er-do-well coming to do you harm to take your items, that type of thing. Victoria then closes the peephole and turns on the do not disturb button or you could hang out the do not disturb sign, of course, if you're on an older ship. For added security, the TikToker then installs a doorstop alarm at the base of her door. Again, something that's gonna alert you when someone comes into the cabin before using her closet hanger connecting it through the door handle and securing it on a nearby hinge. Again, this is going to just make a lot of noise. She then rolls up a towel tightly and sticks it in the door handle that will help make it a little bit more difficult to turn the handle. Finally, Victoria places a piece of heavy furniture against the door before turning her attention to the cabin's balcony, closing and locking the door, and of course, closing the curtains. If you've ever been outside on your balcony at night and looked back into your cabin, you know you can see in perfectly, no problems. But if you're inside looking out, you might have a hard time seeing what's going on out there. So just closing the curtain, that's gonna go a long way to making sure your neighbors aren't, well, being peeping toms, looking through, figuring out what's going on in your cabin. The other thing this article talks about is the installation of a small wireless security camera. Looks kind of like this one. Y'all, this is a cheap piece of junk. This camera is no good. You could buy this for a few dollars on Timu or AliExpress or any of those really cheap Chinese websites that ship things that take 30 days or more to get to you. And this particular model of camera can very easily be defeated by removing the storage card and taking it with you, throwing the camera overboard. It's not really gonna do much of anything, especially mounted where it's mounted, where it's completely visible. It would be very different if you mounted this in such a fashion that it would be hard for a ne'er-do-well to find it perhaps put it in a corner that's a little bit more out of the way, a little harder to find, you know, when you're quickly going through the cabin. But I think this last tip, it's kind of junk, doesn't really do much for you. 
What do you think about some of these cabin safety and security tips and tricks? Do you do any of these? I know personally as a solo traveler, I'm always looking over my shoulders, especially when I'm off the ship. On board the cruise ships, I still feel pretty safe. I think your biggest threat on board a cruise ship, it's gonna be a person that's interested in you in taking you home for the evening. I think honestly, that's the biggest thing you gotta look out for, especially if you're a solo female traveler. That's gonna be your biggest threat on a cruise ship. But if you think there's some other threats, well, leave them down in the comment section. That's what it's there for. It's there for all of us to share our experiences because yours is gonna be vastly different than mine. And of course, somebody out there watching has experienced in something that I haven't. And that's how we all learn. I'd love to read it down in the comment section. Be sure you get subscribed while you're down there. The flagship midships episodes dropping in just a couple hours time. Would love to see you there.